The Apple iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus, featuring the 4.7 and 5.5 inch screens, were released last September. I've been using mine for the past several months, but is it worth upgrading, or should you wait for the next iPhone? Hi, I'm Matt from Goopley, and I'm back with another review, the iPhone 6S Plus. I'm using an iPhone 6S Plus Space Gray 64 gig configuration. So what's changed in the iPhone 6S model? Well, Apple's right when they say the only thing that's changed is everything. The iPhone 6S Plus features a 5.5 inch screen, which is the same as the previous model, and really doesn't look any different. On the back, you will notice that it says S under the iPhone branding. Apple continued to improve the 5.5 inch screen by adding 3D touch which allows you to push harder on the screen and access additional options. For example, pushing harder on an application icon that has been upgraded for 3D Touch will expand a list of options. 3D Touch also works inside applications as well. By applying Force Touch to an email will allow you to peek at the email without actually opening the message. And of course, watching movies on the iPhone 6S Plus is amazing. Apple has upgraded the front and rear facing camera. Selfies are going to look ridiculously cool. Apple has finally upgraded the front facing camera from a 1.2 megapixel to a new 5 megapixel camera. Apple also introduced a new retina flash which uses the screen to recognize and improve selfies. The iPhone has always taken stunning photos but the rear facing camera has been upgraded to a new 12 megapixel eyesight camera. That's up from 8 megapixels. Apple also introduced live photos which are basically GIFs. And when turned on, right after your photo is taken, your camera will record a short 3 second clip after the photo is taken. The new iSight camera also includes panoramic mode, which is up to 63 megapixels. That's up from 43. The iPhone 6S Plus model also features optical image stabilization. Unfortunately, you still won't find this in the iPhone 6S model. The new iSight camera records in 4K at 30 frames per second. 4K is great, but if you have a smaller iPhone like the 16GB, then 4K is a pretty useless feature due to the large file size. Apple's new Touch ID fingerprint scanner is now in the iPhone 6S Plus, which is faster than ever, but it might be too fast as it unlocks your phone before you can even look at your notifications on the lock screen. But there's a simple workaround for that, just wake up your phone using the power button. For me, I just look at my notifications in the notification center. The Apple iPhone 6S Plus features the most advanced chip in a smartphone. The iPhone 6S Plus is powered by a 64A9 chip, which gives you the power and performance of a desktop computer. The new A9 chip is great for intense games and apps. Although the iPhone 6S looks and feels like the previous model, Apple has replaced the back with a new aluminum 700 series. Of course, this is to prevent bending. Overall, the iPhone 6 Plus is a great improvement from the iPhone 6 Plus with some added features. If you're looking for the latest and greatest iPhone, then upgrading is a must. If you're on T-Mobile or Sprint, you'll have access to the new 700 band, which will improve your signal inside buildings, if it's available in your area. If you're waiting for the new iPhone with new features and a new design, then waiting is a must. If you're looking for a great deal on an iPhone, then waiting closer to the next iPhone release or even after will save you some money. I hope this review helped you. If it did, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and leave a comment down below. I'm Matthew Evans, and I'll see you in the next video.